Hi guys, my name is Hermit in the Forest. This is my unboxing of Ember Star. Ember Star is a role-playing game from a German developer Thalion. It is a follow-up to their uh, role-playing game called Dragonflight and it was supposed to be the first part of Ember Trilogy. However, due to bad sales of Ember Stars and its sequel, uh, Thalion went bankrupt and only uh, two uh, games in this series were released. The second one, the sequel to this game is called Ember Moon and that was released only in Germany in German and uh, for Amiga computers so you will not see it among my videos. However, uh, this game made it to other platforms as well and was released internationally. Uh, in this game you play uh, as a guy whose parents just died. He is living in the city of Twin Lake and now has to go on with his life. You will gather a party of up to six characters during your travels and the story tells us about black magician Tar who fought his father who was demonic lord uh, uh, Tarhun and in the end he lost and his father possessed his soul, declared himself Lord Tarbos and conquer conquered the land and terrorized its inhabitants. With the allied effort of mages he was eventually defeated and imprisoned in the red moon that orbits Liramion. However, now there is a danger because a black mage Marmion wants to release him from this prison and you have the task to uh, find the pieces of Ember Star, that is a powerful talisman, powerful artifact that originally was used to defeat the Lord Tarbos and now you have to assemble it again to defeat him once more. Okay, let's take a look at a box art now. This game combines uh, top-down view and first-person view. Top-down is for exploration the outside mostly and inside of the houses while First person is used for exploration of dungeons, sewers and such. The combat is turn-based. Very nice front cover. Now let's turn the box around and see the back side for some text about the game and pictures from the game. After Thalion went bankrupt, its members, some of them went to Blue Bite, where they then worked on the game called Albion that is very similar in gameplay to this one and is an indirect sequel to Ember Trilogy games. So. It has, of course, different story and such, but has the same, very similar gameplay. Now, I remove the sleeve because it's a sleeve style box. Uh, beneath, uh, there is a, a black box that is not plain, however, there is a Thalion logo embossed on it, on this black box. If now I open it and let's take a look inside, let's see the contents. First of all, there is the game itself. It comes on five uh, three and a half inches discs. This is disc A, disc B, disc C, disc D, and finally disc E. So five discs. Then there is a registration card. Okay. Next, there is a reference card. Here, some controls and tables, the most important stuff regarding the game, using magic, some white magic spells, some tables, role-playing tables of races and classes. Levels, how to install the game for 
various platforms okay so that's the reference card then there is this sheet with translation translating uh, runes into alphabet probably a copy protection in a way so yeah this sheet next thing there is a paper ember star poster that is the same as front cover of the game just of course it is big so you can put it on the wall very nice so that's the poster next thing in the box is ember star map that is printed on a paper that is quite strange it is a paper like uh, papyrus or pergamon something like that it's not a common paper as you can see it looks quite nice and unlike all other stuff in the box it is not translated into English uh, the names are still as you can see German however this is okay this is the this is the international release the map the names were not translated quite a nice map of the game world okay so that is the map and the last thing in the box is the game manual that is pretty thick looks like this and that's all the necessary info about the game take a look at the table of contents here it continues as you can see over 160 pages so anything about loading ins instructions um, installation setup and such so technical stuff on the first pages then we have something about controls here how to play the game properly some pictures from the game and more and more descriptions conversations something about magic, this is the white magic, the healing one and its spells and effects and such various actions when you discover objects and treasures and such oh yeah various special functions here with various characters in the game here are the classes tables and abilities here yeah here's some kind of yeah the tale of tarbos so here is something enhancing the storytelling looks like a novel that you can read and where you learn everything how the story started it's quite long yeah and it is actually almost half of the manual 
maybe yeah. Here are the credits. Take a look at the people who made this game. And this is the back side of the menu. Okay, and that is all that was in this big box. I thank you very much for watching this video.